Shall we begin? Yeah, sure. Awesome. Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to this uh, live stream session on learning the basics of editorial cartooning. I have someone very, very special with me today. Uh, he is a legend in his own right. Uh, Satish Acharya, the name in the cartooning world, is famous for various reasons. The most prominent being how direct and to the point his cartoons are, unabashed and very, very authentic is what I would say. Uh, he is from Kondapur and uh, has amassed a massive following of almost 500,000 subscribers or followers across social media. Uh, he has been named one of the 24 intellectuals uh, from you know, India in Forbes India 2015. Uh, he has also been featured, his work has been featured in uh, The Wire, Guardian, in many other publications across the world and that is something that is just the beginning of the kind of credentials that he brings to the table. Uh, so, uh, I quickly want to bring him onto the stage and he will be sharing his experiences, his thoughts about how he approaches cartooning. If you are somebody who is a young cartoonist or young artist and wants to understand how you can break out into this space and make a space, make a name for your own self and have a career uh, be doing cartooning, then this session is going to be super, super helpful. I want to thank XP Pen for making this happen and uh, I would love for you to go ahead and participate in the online competition that we have and you have a chance to win an XP Pen Artist 15.6 Pro tablet as well. Uh, I hope you guys are excited. I am super excited for you, uh, for this session. Uh, just give me one moment. I'm just going to make a few changes before we go live. Uh, Jinal, I'm just having to put you, uh, you know, uh, out of this session because I have a certain setup going on and your screen is coming in the way. I'm just going to remove you. I hope that is okay. Please join back again as an attendee. Sure. Yeah. All right. So with that said, thank you so much, guys. Make sure you uh, leave a like. The links to all of Satish Acharya sir's uh, social media are on the description on the YouTube channel. You can check Draw with Atma. The, ch the stream is actually happening live there as well. So you can go ahead and check in all the details that are there in the description there. With that said, I will not take up more time presenting to you Mr. Satish Acharya. Hello, 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 sir. Thank you so much for joining Hi, and thank you so much for being here. Absolutely my pleasure. Uh, it's a great pleasure to connect with you. Uh, to be frank, I'm a big fan of your art. Uh, thank I've you been so seeing much. your artworks on NFT space. And with every artwork, you take your art to another level. Oh my and, God. Uh, that... Thanks for doing this. Uh, I know you've been, uh, you've been uh, on a tour. World tour. I'm in a Vietnam tour. And you were just back yesterday night. And you look tired also, so thanks for doing this. I mean, it's, a lot. it's an honor, sir. I mean, honestly, I have looked up to your work and I have seen the kind of stuff that you've been doing. Uh, listening to these things from you means a lot to me. Thanks a lot. This is something special for me. Yes, I was traveling. Yes, uh, I got back only last night, but I was looking forward to an opportunity to speak to you and share your ideas and things that probably it's, a lot more people can benefit pleasure. from. <laughs> awesome, sir. So, uh, to quickly jump in, thanks a lot for all the kind words, by the way. To quickly jump in, I would like to ask you, uh, what is it that gave you that inspiration or that spark to go ahead become a cartoonist? Or how did the journey actually start? Let's go back to the very beginning when you were a young artist, probably doing some doodling, etc. How did the thought come to you that you wanted to become a cartoonist and you wanted to do this for a living? Uh, to tell the tell the whole journey, it will take around um, it will be like a three hour movie. <laughs> so I'll uh, shorten it and uh, see. I come I come from a, a small coastal town in Karnataka called Kundapur. It's a beautiful town, and uh, I grew up in uh, like um, with dinosaurs when there was no computer. So the 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 best part uh, pastime was uh, uh, spending time with books or playing in the ground. Okay. So I used to we used to get lots of books from uh, libraries. Uh, there are public libraries here. Magazines. I used to get you know, magazines, books, and uh, comics also. So uh, there is a, a film theater in front of my office, um, my home. Okay. Uh, so I was addicted to films also. So we okay. used to get uh, I used to get uh, Canada film magazine. Okay. Uh, from library. So in one such a book, there was a picture of uh, Vishnu Vardhan. He's a legend from Kannada film industry. So as a fun, it was during my primary school. 
as a fun you heard of car- carbon paper right yeah yeah uh, we used to trace i think all of us have started doing art in some manner yeah. using carbon paper so i remember in my childhood right. if there is something really interesting i want to copy it i just used to take like on the comic book yeah, you will yeah. just place the carbon paper underneath it and normally start we used to, tracing on top yeah normally we use the carbon carbon paper for map for tracing the map yeah. india map yeah yeah so what i did was i traced the vishnu vardhan's uh, photo on okay. it and i just uh, penciled it okay So it looked like an artwork. So okay. I took it to my class, mm-hmm. and people just loved it. Mm-hmm. I got lots of appreciation from friends. Mm-hmm. So I realized the power of art. I mean, how uh, people love art. Mm-hmm. So that was my first step to art world. Mm-hmm. Uh, then uh, there was another friend who used to bring lots of comic books to uh, uh, school, mm-hmm. and uh, mostly Amarchitra Kata. Okay. We all grew up uh, reading the reading the mythology history yeah. through Amarchitra Kata. Yeah. So the power of illustrations to tell a story that hmm. attracted me, hmm. uh, and uh, later uh, during school, uh, high school days, I think hmm. I started reading the uh, Illustrated Weekly of India. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, Illustrated Weekly used to carry lots of uh, cartoons and caricatures drawn by legendary R. K. Lakshman and legendary Mario Miranda. Hmm, hmm, so hmm. I used to trace those. Uh, I used to copy those cartoons, hmm. not trace, hmm. copy those cartoons. Hmm. Uh, Copying the cartoons of Lakshman was uh, little easy because uh, he is a semi-realistic uh, cartoons. His yeah. drawings are uh, easy to draw. I mean, it's not easy to uh, create your own drawing, but easy to copy. Hmm. And uh, and the illustrations of Mario Miranda is hmm. difficult hmm. Uh, because he used to put lots of details in his artworks. Hmm. 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 But his characters are very unique, so hmm. I used to copy the characters of Mario Miranda. Hmm. So that's how I, I started uh, taking interest in cartoons. Uh, but i never understood the uh, the area of uh, editorial cartoon because hmm. I, i was in the high school and uh, we hardly read the newspapers hmm. Uh, hmm. so i was not aware of the messages in those cartoons but hmm. I, i was attracted to the art hmm. gradually i i started developing my own style hmm. and i started taking interest in news hmm. but cartooning was uh, never my uh, intention Hmm. I never wanted to become a professional uh, cartoonist hmm. 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 Uh, because hmm. I used to uh, during the college days I used to send uh, pocket cartoons to local Kannada newspaper uh, magazines. Okay. And I used to get around thirty rupees for each cartoon. Wow. And even that with third, yeah, with thirty rupees you can't make a living. So I did uh, uh, become and then I did the MBA. Which year was and this? The thirty rupees per cartoon. Which year was this? It was uh, around nineteen ninety. 1990 okay yeah early okay. 90 okay but still even in 90s 30 rupees was not much yeah 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 it yeah. was not much i mean uh, you can't make a better living yeah okay. yeah i knew that education only can uh, uh, brighten your lives and uh, make a difference in your life hmm. so i i did uh, become then i did the mba in finance hmm. but i used to draw cartoons regularly and uh, uh, send it to different uh, publications local hmm. publications hmm. that was more like a pocket money hmm. Hmm. so hmm. Then I went to the, after doing MBA. I went to Bangalore. I mm. didn't get any job there. Mm. Then I, with my friend, I went to Mumbai. Okay. So there, there I realized that uh, uh, there is a scope for cartooning. Cartooning mm. can be a profession. Mm. Uh, because I, I, it's, it's a, uh, it's called media, uh, media uh, center of yeah. India. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, most of the big newspapers, magazines are mm-hmm. uh, located mm-hmm. here. So I had two minds. I mean, I was. Uh, I got into an advertising agency as accounts executive hmm. with my MBA, hmm. uh, but I was also wanted to. I also wanted to draw cartoons. You were doing so accounts. Trying, it was not accounts actually. It was more like client servicing. Okay. Job. Okay, yeah. so I, I'm I just trying to draw a parallel. How you started uh, in finance, your education in MBA is in finance. Yeah, and now yeah, you're yeah. doing art. But at advertising agency, I was doing. Uh, uh, it's more like liaison, uh, coordinating hmm. with the client and hmm. the art department. Hmm. They okay. give brief. Okay. We have to get the uh, give the brief to the art department, the marketing team. Okay. And come up with a campaign. Okay. Rather. Okay. So even at the advertising agency, I was spending more time with the art department. Okay. Because <laughs> you are genuine, genuinely interested. You are automatically yeah, yeah. inclined to. Yeah. My work. passion was cartoon. Uh, it was more only because of the compulsion that I had to do MBA job. Hmm. Because I had no other way. Hmm. So I I started uh, uh, sending. Uh, freelance cartoons. Hmm. Uh, it's a weekly cartoon for a financial magazine. There, weekly hmm. cartoon. Uh, it was not much. Then I started uh, contributing to a local Canada paper hmm. in uh, uh, Mumbai. Hmm. 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 So that's how started. 
finally one day i took the decision to become a full time cartoonist mm. uh, it was a risky decision actually mm. but to get a break it took me around 10 years wow uh, this is something of, i don't yeah, yeah. this I is something that i talked to struggle go on go on sorry sorry for interrupting yeah. go on i won't call it uh, a struggle as a struggle but it's more like a learning curve yeah because i was not uh, see i went to different publications and i was rejected on different basis mm. and uh, the all the reasons which were on, on, the, on those uh, the basis on which i was rejected hmm. were valid hmm. Hmm. because i was hmm. not good enough hmm. looking back hmm. i know that i was not good enough hmm. uh, i was lacking in good ideas hmm. i was lacking in good handwriting also i was rejected at a newspaper uh, for not having a good handwriting also wow uh, hmm. yeah, yeah. Hmm. it's a good experience is this so before finally, the use of digital tools or was it something that you were doing yeah, on paper digital tools came quite late Yeah, so you were I doing all of this in hand print. on paper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. So in two thousand three, I think wow. I got a job at midday. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, I tried uh, at midday thrice. Hmm. I was rejected hmm. for uh, different reasons. Then finally, I got job at uh, got a break. It's a big break actually at midday. Very uh, interesting. But I was uh, hired as a graphic designer and illustrator, not as cartoonist. Because was maybe do, it was not even yeah. a thing like graphic designer yeah. and illustrator probably becomes like a category of people that you can put you in. Right. Cartoonist was maybe not a category of you know roles that were available. Yeah, not many, not many newspaper had cartoonists as, yeah. as an employee. Yeah, yeah. Most yeah. of them, are, except uh, uh, like legends like uh, R. K. Lakshman, yeah, uh, Sudhir mm-hmm. Thayran, they were employees. Otherwise, uh, most of them are uh, freelancers. Guys, even I would. Day, Just a moment, sir. I would want everybody yeah. to please give a Satish Acharya OP in the chat, guys. This is somebody who had passion for something that they wanted to do. They wanted to create something of their own, and not even having that category of roles, he created a role for himself, and he went and did that work. And today we have uh, the kind of work that he is doing, and everything that we are seeing. Please go ahead and type Satish Acharya OP in the chat, guys. If you are listening on YouTube on Uh, chat here i am seeing uh, krishna has already typed in i am uh, hearing all the chat all the messages that are coming in if you have questions for satish sir i am going to take q and a where you will be able to ask all the questions and also there is an event uh, called cartoon hubba that is happening on 23rd to 27th of this month we are going to be talking about that too you have opportunity to win graphics tablets i am just giving you all of this uh, so that you are aware what's coming next All right. I hope you are excited for what's coming next. I'm seeing Satish Acharya OP coming on the chat everywhere. Thank you so much. So go ahead, sir. You were saying something about your yeah. career and how you started as graphic designer illustrator. Yeah, but yeah. at uh, midday I was hired as a uh, uh, graphic designer illustrator. My job was to do uh, graphics illustrations for stories mm-hmm. and uh, do pages also. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I was I was very happy with the job because uh, midday has been my favorite paper. Mm-hmm. Ever since I landed in Mumbai, mm-hmm. uh, it's more like a mini, uh, mini miniature of Mumbai. It represents Mumbai in a big way. Okay, okay. Uh, so I, I was in, but I wanted to get into cartooning. Hmm. So I started drawing cartoons every day, hmm. and uh, give it to our editor. The editor hmm. was Akar Patel then. Hmm. So I used hmm. to uh, give him the uh, cartoon. Hmm. On some days he would select the select the cartoon and uh, they would publish it in readers. Uh, Reader's response uh, uh, hmm. page. Hmm. 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 So, hmm. so finally one day he gave me a column. That's hmm. how we started. Okay. okay. That was the that was the big break. So uh, a lot of uh, that I could get a cartoon column. Got it. So because they already had uh, legends like uh, Panappa and uh, Doctor Morpa yes sir. Hmm. Uh, so hmm. it was big thing for for me to get a cartoon column in midday. Hmm. Hmm. amazing amazing so there was this long journey that you went through and i see that when i talk to a lot of young artists people who are learning from me many people do not have the patience to stick with it for a long enough period of time right uh, so th- you start doing something you experiment with different things probably initially you did not have a very clear idea of what you were going to do slowly over period you gained clarity and maybe you made your own space so even so, i had given up i mean uh, hmm. uh, there's an interesting interesting story Hmm. Around 2002, I had given up Mumbai and came back to my native hmm. in Kundapur. Hmm. So I was uh, editing a small uh, uh, magazine hmm. uh, in my hometown. Hmm. But I went back to normally in the in our town. We normally we hardly check the emails. Hmm. 
Hmm. Uh, because hmm. it's not it was not uh, digitally we are not savvy. Hmm. So uh, my sister was in uh, in my hometown. Hmm. For she came here for the delivery. Okay. So to send her back, I went with her. Okay. To Mumbai. Hmm. And in Mumbai, I checked email. Hmm. 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 Okay. Hmm. There was a e- there was an email from midday. <laughs> okay, you did not even have break. access. I mean. How yeah. privileged are we today that we have everything at our fingertips? You yeah, are saying yeah, that you went from one town to granted. another town. Hmm. So it was a lucky break actually. I hmm. mean, I could have missed that email. Hmm. So I, I had almost given up uh, my hopes in Mumbai hmm. when I came back to Akhundapur. But that was a break. Amazing, amazing. So it's sir, a kind if... of destiny. <laughs> no, so I think I mean there is this thing. I do not want to sound like all. Uh, gassy but i have to say that if you think about something so strongly you attract those things yeah. so over yeah. period That's a true. lot of these things the dots connect in hindsight when mm. you see these are things that i did and that is how i've reached here these are things that i have experienced and i am also sharing that with people who are listening to everything that's happening and all the things that i do on youtube as well i also probably did not have a clear idea of what i was going to do and slowly slowly things are unfolding uh, amazing so you need persistence i mean uh, as yeah. long as you believe in the With the field you have selected, yeah, and you should have passion. You should back your passion with lots of hard work. Yes, and then you should have persistence. I mean, these things sound very really cheesy. Luck. These things sound yeah. very, बहुत ज्ञान की बातें and all, but reality वही है. This is true. This so is the truth. It's easy to give up. It's it's really easy to give up. But when you have, don't have any other option. Yeah. You have to have persistence. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Amazing. I mean, listening to all of this reminds me the reason why I started what I'm doing as well. thank you for yeah. saying that so uh, one thing that i would like to ask you about your cartooning is uh, you talk about things that may be taken in the right spirit sometimes and sometimes they are also controversial meaning people can have an opposite view of what you say what has been your experience when you talk about these things what is the kind of response that you get what is the kind of reactions that you get see editorial cartooning there are it's it's, uh, it's also called as negative art also some people call it call it as negative art because we normally uh, focus on the um, the negative side of a story mm. mostly at the uh, we we take a critical look at the news mm. or the performance of the government mm. or or uh, some policies mm. or whatever happens around us mm. 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 so people look at it in a different way mm. i mean it's a, it's a roller coaster ride mm. i hardly find uh, people who are uh, genuinely cartoon i mean there are, there is there are lots of people who are uh, genuinely cartoon lovers but mm. most of them they like a cartoon if the if the message resonates with them they like the uh, if the message aligns with their ideology or philosophy hmm. then they like it otherwise they start targeting you hmm. they criticize you hmm. they don't criticize the art they are just criticizing the opinion that's it hmm. just like you have an opinion hmm. as a cartoonist i have an opinion hmm. i i send my my, my opinion through hmm. a visual hmm. in my cartoons hmm. that's it Hmm. it's not a judgement it's not a judgement from any any higher court or uh, uh, or a uh, or, or an editor hmm. Hmm. it's a hmm. it's an opinion from an a, from a cartoonist hmm. so people have to look at it hmm. like they told just as an opinion hmm. so hmm. till 2014 uh, it was not uh, that hard to deal with this story hmm. Uh, hmm. because i had uh, friends in all parties hmm. uh, most of my cartoon lovers hmm. uh, they belong to different parties Okay. Till two two thousand fourteen, fourteen, then uh, it was fine. Hmm. I mean, sometimes I used to get uh, mails or messages from people who didn't like the cartoon. Hmm. That was it. Hmm. Then in next cartoon they'll be back. Uh, they like it or uh, if they disagree with the cartoon, they'll tell me that they don't agree with me. Hmm. That's fine. Hmm. Hmm. So, hmm. but after two thousand fourteen, they started targeting. One section started targeting. Mm. And uh, now there are many IT cells. Every party has IT cells. Yeah. So let's talk about that. Against their, yeah. Let's talk about that. When, let's talk when, about that. Yeah. When a cartoon goes against their uh, ideology or uh, their opinion, mm. every party, mm. uh, some uh, in different measures. Okay. Mm. Every party uh, trolls in a different measure, but mm. most of them they troll. Not mm. just me. Every cartoon mm. they troll every cartoon. Mm. Mm. So, so basically, that's, that's my experience. if there is something that you are putting out as a critic uh, of any incident any decision yeah. any stance that a government is taking or a certain party is taking you mm-hmm. just put it out maybe you are being as objective as you can you are not taking sides you are not taking yeah. the left or right whatever you are Absolutely. just putting out your opinion about whatever is happening 
and people tend to associate you with that or yeah, say reduce oh, the that entire part. idea to you yeah. and not just the cartoon i mean the piece of work is different and you are a different thing but then right, they kind right. of mix them up and then react negatively towards you yeah i've been called the uh, uh, aptard kongi uh, uh, kongi <laughs> and sangi also oh my god yeah i've been called everything so there is more like a better it's a badge of honor actually yeah because i've been yeah. targeted by all the parties yeah yeah i so i believe this that if you are doing something worthwhile only then mm-hmm. do people sit up and take effort to go ahead and type something and react to whatever you are doing if it's of yeah. no consequence people will not bother people will not respond only no, till, so, till 2014 i used to believe that all these uh, responses to my cartoons hmm. uh, they are genuine hmm. but after 2014 i realized that it's uh, it's organized also yes all these responses are organized yes it's it happens it's not organic yeah it's not organic it's organized so there are people behind these accounts which are actually coming and targeting you and writing things yeah. on your account so i would want right. to ask you how do you deal with this as a person because i when i put out my art sometimes even though it's not political even though it's not like an opinion right. piece i am not even trying to target anybody or i am not even saying anything about a particular mm-hmm. individual i put out my work people react to it sometimes people react to it well sometimes people will just bash the work for whatever reason someone will say hey kya ghatiya cheez banaya what is this this is useless <laughs> you are waste everything they will say <laughs> about the work and they will try to bring you down in whatever way they can right in that case how do you go back and again start the process and get back into doing the same thing that you are doing how do you develop that mental strength i would like uh, people who are difficult. listening also to pay attention because a lot of people take these things very seriously they take it to heart yeah. and then it becomes difficult for them to move forward from there see initially it used to be difficult i mean uh, i kept wondering i mean why they are targeting me i mean i used to do cartoons even before 2014 i used to draw cartoons on all the leaders mm. i mean uh, sonia gandhi rahul gandhi manmohan singh everybody mulayam singh mm. uh, every opposition leader mm. but after 2014 it was uh, it has become a crime to uh, criticize the government or leader Hmm. Uh, so initially it used to uh, affect me hmm. but then i started realizing that uh, the mission or the ob- objective of these people is to get into your head hmm. they want to get into your head hmm. and stop you from all manipulate your thoughts hmm. for the next cartoon hmm. they used to scare you they want to they want to scare you hmm. and uh, they want to get into your head that's it hmm. Hmm. so i wanted to defeat that objective hmm. so i started ignoring this uh, comments trolling I hate messages i do this everything and some I amount of thick skin you have to develop response. yeah you just have to be uh, i mean you just have to remove uh, ignore them that's it mm. i just don't look at i mean it will affect your attraction on social media because uh, in, in, so on social media you have to engage with readers mm. then only you will get more traction mm. but i have to sacrifice that part uh, for my sanity yeah fair enough fair enough oh, so i can i can draw the next card without any worries hmm. i don't mind what they say i mean i'll just if i have a good idea hmm. and if i believe in the idea i'll hmm. do it hmm. whatever they say does not matter amazing so this is something that i think young artists should uh, keep in mind that you do what you want to do and believe in the you know not just political hmm. uh, see even when i draw cartoons on dhoni sachin tendulkar hmm. virat kohli hmm. Uh, there will be one section who who will target me. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. NFT. When I when I uh, when I did a uh, did my first NFT when I minted first NFT, hmm. it was a part of uh, Mahatma Gandhi. Okay. Uh, Gandhi March uh, part. Okay. So I minted it on uh, Wazirx, hmm. and it was picked up by uh, Kunal. Hmm. Okay. And I posted it. Hmm. So immediately someone came and uh, commented that uh, now you started selling Gandhi also. <laughs> my god see you ca- can never make everybody happy it's yeah, impossible it can never make anybody happy uh, my my philosophy also. is that why should you try to make anyone happy i mean art should uh, uh, make you happy that's it i yeah. create art for my happiness yeah yeah if it gives happiness to other people also uh, that will be a great addition yeah i mean i've also started 
applying this to my own way of doing things that I want to be happy first and then see whoever yeah. resonates with the work that I'm doing then right. maybe I'll do continue doing that if not I'm yeah. just stepping your happiness will show in your work yeah if you're not happy it will show in the work yeah that's true that's true amazing sir uh, so now coming to stepping away from uh, the reactions and responses and all the emotions that fly into this scene but let us just talk about the process if you have an idea how do you approach creating that into a cartoon be it a strip okay. be it a single cartoon the posts that you make on social media how do you approach from the idea to actual execution and putting it out what are the tools that you use what devices are you using see i'm uh, i'm mostly into editorial cartoon hmm. uh, compared to other forms of cartooning editorial cartoon is different uh, there are there are three elements hmm. if it can be specific uh, one is the art part hmm. the way we draw hmm. and the second part is the humor hmm. so normally editorial cartoons are considered humor as jokes hmm. and the third part is journalism your opinion hmm. because you are commenting on something which hmm. is happening around you hmm. mostly news hmm. so you have to have certain uh, ability in each area uh, to create a create an editorial cartoon okay uh, first first you need to have an opinion hmm. so you pick a news or uh, uh, something which is happening around you or a talk- talking point hmm. and pick it and then create your opinion hmm. you should have your own opinion about the uh, the topic you have selected hmm. Hmm. then you have to visualize how you want to put it in a visual hmm. so hmm. this is the most uh, most vital part hmm. this visualization we call it idea hmm. uh, how you going to present your idea hmm. uh, your opinion hmm. in a visual form hmm. Hmm. so there you can add humor you can make it serious hmm. uh, you can make it uh, make it dark hmm. or whatever hmm. it depends on your idea hmm. so if you uh, add humor that will be great hmm. even without humor an editorial cartoon can be a big hit also it can send a message Hmm. Uh, it's not just about the uh, humor or jokes. Editorial hmm. cartoon is not just about humor. Hmm. It's not entertaining. Hmm. Hmm. It, it has to send some message. Hmm. Uh, it can be a serious message. Uh, it can send the message in a serious way or in a lighter way hmm. or a hilarious way. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, it depends on your idea. Hmm. Hmm. So this is the whole process. Hmm. I mean the three elements. Hmm. First, you have to pick the subject or pick a topic, and uh, you should have your own opinion. Hmm. that put that opinion in hmm. a visual form hmm. to an eye hmm anything that you would never put out or any topic that you will never touch anything that you have on your mind that i will never make cartoons about this so no, it's not like that i mean there are some subjects hmm. uh, you know how india is india is very diverse and there are uh, there are many issues hmm. uh, there are uh, many issues which are people touch here hmm. they are very sensitive about certain issues hmm. like religion or caste hmm. so i i normally avoid these uh, subjects hmm. unless uh, it's politicized hmm. when these issues are politicized we hmm. have to comment on it hmm. if, if religion is politicized hmm. we have to you have to protest it you have to oppose it hmm. to your work hmm. if uh, caste politics is uh, uh, take it to a great extent to garner votes and you have to comment on it but uh, otherwise i don't i don't uh, want to comment on the uh, religious things or uh, caste system or uh, mostly even uh, some people some tragedies also i, I try to uh, try to avoid some tragedies sometimes i draw cartoon if i have a good idea which is not uh, offending otherwise i normally avoid the uh, tragic events so you would avoid something so related to tragedy and caste i mean and really uh, really sensitive about it because uh, i don't want uh, people to fight over a cartoon uh, because of the social media uh, mm. any anything visual any visual can travel a lot uh, travels like fire and uh, it can cause problem right so i don't want to i want my cartoons to spread happiness mm. or some good messages not hate trade or violence interesting interesting anything uh, somebody who appreciated your cartoon something specific can you give us an instance of when you were like extremely happy about the work that you did and it reached a certain person and they responded to you somebody uh, prominent maybe uh, not politicians actually hmm. uh, but there are there are cartoons which uh, which reached cricketers or some celebrities when they liked it it gave me happiness uh, 
political political personality are not uh, are not worried much i mean uh, if i appreciate one politicians today uh, i have to criticize that politi politician some other day also so i don't take their appreciation or uh, criticism at a face value they keep changing also yeah all right so uh, you are doing this event called cartoon hubba uh right. can you tell us a little bit about it and what is this thing i will just give a brief introduction about what this event is it's happening from 23rd to 27th it's an independently organized event uh, spearheaded by you which is to spread the idea about cartooning a lot of prominent cartoonists your friends are coming together to make this happen and it is to benefit young artists and there is a lot of interesting things that are happening guys if you are somebody who is an artist there is an opportunity for you to create your cartoons and win a graphics tablet by xp pen artist pro 15.6 tablet you have the chance to win that tablet and uh, satish ji i'll leave it to you to explain what's happening and what are the different things that are going to happen during this event and see uh, cartoon hub was started in 2014 uh, in 2010 i relocated from mumbai to kolapur in my, my hometown so my hometown is uh, has a has a good legacy uh, we have a, we had lots of cartoons here uh, even uh, during my my uh, college days uh, so we had a legacy here but when i came back i realized that uh, not much happening in cartoon area uh, there are not uh, there are some uh, uh, exhibition cartoon exhibitions but they don't attract any crowd uh, i realized that the youngsters are not interested in news uh, leave aside the cartooning they are not interested in news uh, when they pick up a newspaper they mostly read about sports or cinema bollywood or kannada uh, cinema so we thought uh, we should do something about it we have a, we have a group of cartoon friends here so i started uh, uh, first we thought uh, we'll we we'll make it different Hmm. Uh, we should not uh, keep it like a normal exhibition because that won't attract crowd so we picked an occasion where the crowd gather hmm. uh, there is a depot so every year we have depots over here so lots of people gather here we thought we'll have an exhibition but with a little difference uh, during depot so it was started in 2014 so we had lots of interaction uh, uh, interactive activities like drawing caricatures uh, writing caption for a cartoon Uh, and uh, selfie corners we used to put up uh, uh, the sign boards with social messages people would take selfie in front of those messages and uh, post them on the social media so in the first year it was a big hit i mean uh, we never expected that, that. Uh, so we had a lots of uh, uh, crowd and we had to shut the door at uh, door at 12 in the midnight wow. so till night there were people so that gave us lots of uh, confidence So since 2014, we have been uh, organizing this cartoon festival every year. So first year we had uh, we had the festival for two years, uh, two days. Then we extended it uh, by one more day. So this year we have five days uh, wow. because of the festival, which comes in the middle of the week. Uh, so we have lots of activities. Uh, we try to cover all aspects of uh, actual cartoon, uh, journalism, and visual media, uh, and humor. and the art so we invite lots of uh, cartoonist friends we had legends like uh, surendra sir of uh, hindi uh, and gujar of sir is from bangalore hmm. uh, and uh, narendra sir they are all legends in cartoon they came here and uh, through virtual uh, interaction we had uh, uh, unni sir also mm-hmm. uh, is a legend in cartoon sir morphariya sir sandeep everyone so with the with the help of these cartoonists Uh, with the help of these legendary cartoons and so with their support, uh, we could do it in a big way. We attracted lots of crowd. Uh, we have uh, different contests like uh, uh, people can uh, draw caricature. We we put a, a big uh, banner uh, you know, with a simplified caricature. So we put the photo and the simplified caricature. People have to draw the caricature in their own way. Hmm. Uh, that's one part, one contest. It's for the visitors. Anybody can draw that. and there is another uh, contest for visitors which is uh, writing a dialogue so we keep a cartoon without dialogue uh, keep the speech bubble with blank and people have to write a witty or uh, funny dialogue so this is not uh, only about we, creating cartoon but even if there is a cartoon somebody yeah, can write a caption yeah hmm. yeah editorial cartoon is about all these aspects 
Hmm. Uh, we have a journalism workshop this year. We are getting the uh, Akar Patel. Wow, uh, he's, a, he's a very good uh, journalist and uh, good columnist. Right. And now. guys, for those of you listening, I'd like to tell you that all of this is going to be streamed live on Satish Sir's channel. So the link is in the description on YouTube. You can go ahead and subscribe to the channel. All the events that are happening on Cartoon Hubba. And I would also like to mention that XP Pen is supporting this event this year and uh, they are giving away amazing prizes. Go ahead and check that out. All the details you will find in the posts on XP Pen's handle and Sir's YouTube channel is uh, posted below in the description as well. You can go ahead and subscribe where all these events will be live streamed. So you can join the workshops that Sir is mentioning. All of those details are there available on the handles. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, another prominent feature is Kultur Contest. We organize a cartoon contest for uh, school and college students. Hmm. Uh, this year, we, with the help of uh, XP Pen, uh, we are planning to get uh, lots of uh, uh, students this year. Uh, I'm really grateful for the support from XP Pen. Actually, uh, so this year, since the uh, since the last year, we started uh, uh, parent plus student contest, where uh, we give them a topic. And a parent has to discuss the topic with the student. Because when we announce the topic at the venue, uh, normally people get confused. Students get confused. Uh, they don't get ideas immediately because they're not professional. So when they, they, when, they have, when they have the backing of their parent, they can discuss the topic with their parent hmm. and uh, come up with an idea. Uh, then a uh, student takes it over. He'll draw, he or she will draw the cartoon. That's how it works. So we are getting good response from the uh, parents actually. We get lots of support. And uh, this year, uh, uh, Karthi God of uh, Ambala Films, who, who produced Kantara and KGM, uh, he's going to inaugurate the festival. Wow. Uh, he's a good friend and uh, very supportive. And uh, we are going to have uh, another director, uh, uh, national award winning director, uh, Mansore. And uh, we have uh, Badal Anjunda Swami. He's a very popular street artist. Uh, he's a legend in his own way. Uh, Amazing. He'll be interacting with an audience. Uh, it's going to happen on Sunday, 27th. So, and there is another uh, session on the NFT. So we want uh, local people, mostly artists and photographers, they want to, we want them to get into NFT. Hmm. Uh, most of them are not aware of NFT. Hmm. So we we are getting uh, some uh, experts from NFT space. Most of my friends, uh, Praveen, who is uh, who's also known as Proto Yogi. Uh, he's joining us, and then Agni, he's also joining us, and DG. Uh, three of them are coming to Kundapur, and they guide, they're going to guide the photographers and artists to get into NFT space. So it's going to be really fun, five days of fun. Uh, it's going to be stressful, but uh, totally fun. I know you have uh, been working that, really, really hard to make this happen. I know what's going behind organizing this, and I see you... Yeah, you know, yeah. running from pillar to post to make this happen. And I am really, really looking forward to all the things that are going to be uh, happening from 23rd to 27th. I'm going to make sure that I'm going to be tuning into the live session that you are doing on your channel. Uh, fortunately, unfortunately, I'm not able to join this time because of all the travel you schedule that I had. Year, actually, because of your schedule, uh, we couldn't uh accommodate you. Uh, we want to have you next year. <laughs> definitely, definitely. This time, you see that I actually am drained from all the travel that has already <laughs> happened. <laughs> but yeah, definitely looking forward. I'm going to be virtually present for sure. Um, so, there is a contest also going on, online competition. Yeah, there uh, is an online contest. Yeah. Uh, which is supported by XP Pen. Uh, topic is uh, Harmony's Love. Uh, we want people to comment uh, through cartoons. Uh, on harmony. Harmony is not just religious, but an economical harmony, social harmony. Uh, because there are, there is a, there is a lot of uh, intolerance in the society also. Not hmm. just religious, hmm. even otherwise, economical, social, hmm. uh, caste based, religion based, everything. Hmm. So people, I, I, we expect people to uh, send their opinion through a cartoon on the topic. Hmm. Hmm. I hope uh, they just think about the uh, topic and come up with the opinion hmm. and uh, translate that opinion into visual. Hmm. Uh, we want to, we want to, uh, maybe, maybe we'll announce it later about the date, due date, uh, the yeah, deadline. Yeah. There might it's be a change in tomorrow. the deadline of the event that will be yeah. informed to you. Please go ahead, follow. We'll discuss with the sponsors then. Yeah. Uh, 
Yes, amazing, sir. I'm looking forward to everything that's coming up uh, in the next few days. Uh, what is your so before we close in before we uh, reach the end of the session? Why don't you tell us what is it that your suggestion or advice to young people who want to get into this space? Editorial cartooning right now. Maybe the time that you started was a little different. Now the times have changed. Uh, now, what are the advantages that people have? What is it that they can do? And how would you suggest somebody approach becoming an editorial cartoonist? See, advantage is uh, see if you have an opinion, uh, nobody will know about you. Hmm. But if you become an editorial cartoonist, more people will know about you. Maybe uh, more people will join. Uh, with their opinion, they, they might agree with their opinion. There might be people who may not agree with your opinion. So this is a, uh, this is more of a communication tool, editorial cartoon. A form is my communication tool. I want to express what I want to say through my cartoons. So that is one advantage. Uh, I, see, there are lots of uh, disadvantages, like in any other profession. You might be, you might get uh, trolled. Uh, you have to be really lucky to get a good column in a newspaper. Hmm. Because uh, most newspapers are occupied, hmm. they have one cartoonist. They, they can't occupy, they can't accommodate more cartoons in newspaper. Hmm. Uh, so it's difficult. But there are lots of porters, news porters, who need cartoons. So for jobs, uh, they have to look at uh, different opportunities, not just uh, uh, look at newspapers. Maybe look at news portals or uh, uh, TV channels also, news channels. They need cartoons. Uh, there are opportunities. Uh, you can get into animation also if you're really good at uh, drawing. If you've got good drawing skills, you can get into animation. Mm. Uh, and NFT space. Mm. If you're good in cartooning or art, you can get into NFT space. To become an editorial cartoonist, you have to be really passionate. Because no institute will teach you editorial cartoon. They will teach you art. Uh, you, you have to develop your uh, sense of humor by reading, uh, looking at uh, the works of different people. Uh, you have to read the, all kinds of things, fiction, uh, autobiographies, biographies, everything. And you have to keep open mind. You can't, uh, you should not restrict yourself to one topic like politics or sports. You have to look at other things also, maybe science, uh, sports, not just cricket, even other sports also. Uh, and other things, many other things. Uh, there are, I mean, there is no dearth of uh, uh, topics for a cartoonist. So you have to pick the right topic. Uh, you are in your own way, you are an editor. Since it's uh, editorial cartooning, uh, editorial cartooning, so you are, a, you are in your own way, you are an editor. So you have to pick the topic and you have to uh, come up with an opinion, then draw it. So it's, it's a beautiful profession. Uh, don't look at the trolling part. Otherwise, it's uh, a really, really uh, pleasing profession. Uh, you'll be really happy in this profession. But you need to be passionate. What is the most fulfilling part of the job that you do? Because I'm not doing the job. <laughs> very well said, very well <laughs> said. You are probably doing it on your own accord, your own schedule, yeah. your own, yeah. uh, you know, whatever you feel like at what point you want even to Even after do. doing a couple of or two, three cartoons every day, I don't get tired mentally. Hmm. Hmm. Trolling could take some toll, but... Uh, uh, I don't look at the uh, uh, trolling part now. We don't need to focus on it that much. Years, yeah. Yeah. For the last few years, uh, I've been avoiding, I've been ignoring the trolls. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's that's part of the work that you do, then that's mm -hmm. fine. I mean, if people are noticing and people are saying things, that means it's a good thing. At the end of the day, In it's... fact, trolls, uh, they take my cartoon to new readers also. <laughs> <laughs> when they share my cartoon, yeah, yeah. Uh, they'll, they'll help me get more readers. I'll tell you something that I do. You yeah. know, I intentionally make mistakes in my pieces that I put out on social media sometimes. Okay. So sometimes, so I made a Ravana artwork, okay? Recently, oh, I put yeah, it on yeah. my YouTube, I put yeah, Ravana. It's a controversial thing. Yes, of course, the movie Adi Purush yeah. is uh, all, the, ah. all the things that are happening around that movie. So I wanted to ride on that. I go, went ahead and made Ravana my own interpretation of that. And I made only five mm -hmm. heads. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Everybody knows 10 heads. I also know 10 heads, yeah. but I made five heads only. Yeah. Why? Because there will be at least 10 people who will come and say, do you even know that Ravana had 10 heads? <laughs> I'm like, okay, go ahead and comment. My channel is getting more engagement. I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you can use it to your advantage as well. Yeah. So yeah, 
but anyways thank you so much for sharing all these amazing insights i think a lot of young artists probably took up you said some very very in- interesting things in that little bit of a uh, segment where you were giving uh, pointers on what to take in i always talk about to my students i always talk about the kind of things that you put inside your brain is what the output is going to be like uh, you One said more something about... is, i mean uh, yeah don't get obsessed with software yeah <laughs> hmm See, okay. art is different. Software is different. Yeah, art should come from your head. Hmm. Software can make it look better, but it has to come from the idea, the concept. It should come from your head. Um, that's the most important part in cartoon or in every art. Hmm. Hmm. What you think is the that's the most important part. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, why don't you give us a little bit of your inspirations and where you have taken some of the stuff that you do from so you talked about uh, the books that you read the kind of people that you look at the work that they have done maybe some things that a young artist can probably refer to the stuff that they can read and learn from well, for a cartoonist it's uh, it's important that you should follow the right people i mean uh, uh, see i normally follow lots of journalists okay on, mostly on twitter okay so i get uh, news immediately okay Uh, before it's published in uh, in their portal or uh, news channel, uh, they they post the news on uh, Twitter, and I get some insight also about the news. Not just the news also, they I get some uh, perspective from the from the journalist point of view. Uh, so I look at I I, I follow uh, different kind of people, mm-hmm. different kind of journalists, uh, writers, uh, thinkers. So I I follow all kind of people. Uh, so that I can get different perspective. Don't look at the news from one perspective. Hmm. Try to look at the news from different perspective. Hmm. Uh, that's one part. Hmm. And uh, look at the works of different people also. Hmm. Uh, the, the cartoons could be junior one or a legendary one. Hmm. Uh, they can come up with great work. Every every cartoonist has the right to come up with a great cartoon, whether hmm. junior or senior. So hmm. you should uh, you should be woke on and learn from them. I I try to learn from every cartoonist, every artist. Even I look at your work and uh, try to learn something from you. Wow, that really that's means a lot. It, no, that that's how it works. I mean, you should not uh, restrict yourself to uh, certain things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you should you should keep uh, moving. You should keep learning. Uh, that's how we grow. This There is, is like, nothing called perfection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This I think is a common thing across people who are successful in any area that they are lifelong learners. there's no end to it yeah we need to be i mean otherwise uh, it will be stagnant yeah yeah and and specifically the kind of work that we are doing specifically in art we are seeing yeah. ai coming into the yeah. space people are saying mm-hmm. that you just type in the words and something come something will come out of the ai engine and we yeah. need to adapt so quickly we need to do stuff to stay relevant and it's a ongoing right. thing it's never going to end and that's what makes it exciting i think we keep doing things that are different every year probably 6 months 8 months you're doing different stuff So you should you should embrace embrace uh, technology, uh, but don't get addicted to it. Mm. At the end of the day, you are going to create art. Mm. Mm. Even AI, it needs a human to fill in something. Yeah, yeah, and that little bit of edge that an art, a, a yeah. human being will add uh, the context and what is it that you are trying to create that will come from a human being at the end of the day. So yeah. a lot of people have been talking about how AI is going to take over artist job. I'm like, okay, <laughs> you know, don't know what you're talking about. You have no idea. <laughs> It only looks a looks like a pretty image. That's all. Yeah. There is something that you're typing. A pretty image is coming out of it, but it means nothing. It means very little actually. Oh, this debate will go on forever. Yeah. Yeah. It has Technology happened in the past with m- when moving from traditional to digital and now digital to whatever is AI yeah. doing to the art space. But that little bit that an artist will add will always remain. It may be becoming a little easier. The process might get a little easier, but at the end of the day, the art is going to happen in the in- artist's head. That's the place where it's born. So I tried to create some art uh, using AI, but uh, I was not satisfied. I mean, what I had in my mind it was not coming on screen. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I, there is a gap. Yes. But yes. for a non-artist, it could be an advantage. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, a non-artist, he wants to see what. What these words can create? Yeah, it's But for interesting. Us, I mean, we cre- we start with the visual. Hmm. We don't start with word. Hmm. As an artist, I start with the visual. Hmm. I have a visual in mind. Hmm. I try to uh, recreate on a paper or uh, digital media. Hmm. 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 So yeah. they won't help me actually because uh, uh, there won't be any match. 
between what I have in mind and uh, what AA can create. Yeah, gap, it, it can become a good starting point for you to get some inspiration. Some ideas, some thoughts, you type in something, something comes out of it and you say, okay, this is also interesting. Maybe I can take this route. This is interesting. Let me combine all of these different things and make something that I am thinking. It's a great technology and yeah. it will help some people also. Yeah, but artists' jobs are not going anywhere. That that, that I am pretty sure of. <laughs> there is no doubt about that. Specifically, people the end of the day, a... I mean, it depends on the artist. Hmm. How the artist is going to uh, capitalize on his ability. Hmm. Right. See? Uh, the opportunities are restricted by our own uh, ability. That's it. Uh, Sadish, one thing that I would like to ask you, I in the past once I had spoken to you about how artists are also brands in their own right and you had a very clear opinion or your own uh, point of view that I am not a brand, I am an artist. That thing yeah, made me think a lot. Now. That thing see, made people, me think a lot. What a, yeah. See, many people, uh, when, when they look at the followers, the number of followers we have on social media, uh, then they start... Uh, Consider us as brand. I get lots of uh, collaboration requests uh, from some brands. Uh, they consider us as a brand who can collab. I mean, who can spread a message, or uh, who can promote their product. Uh, but uh, that's not what we are. I mean, we can do that as a, as a source of income. Uh, but we are not brand actually. <laughs> we can't be brand. So there is certain authenticity to the work that you do, and I think that is what attracts so many people, and so many people admire the kind of work that you are doing. I come from a very, uh, so my background is in, uh, you know, business and marketing. I have studied marketing and strategy in my MBA. So I come from that perspective and I bring a lot of that knowledge to the work that I do. So uh, invariably, whether I want it or not, I have that perspective of bringing in that brand play. What is it that I am trying to create? What are the kind of things that I'm saying? What are the things that are happening on different social media platforms? How am I building a brand, Artma, so to say. But the thing that you said, uh, I mean, made me think I actually had to, Think about it and then I realized there is so much depth to what you were actually saying. So what saying. you can do is you can separate these things. I mean, yeah. see, one part of you can be an artist who thinks like an artist. Yeah. Uh, another part can be a brand. Hmm. How how you think about the marketing and other things. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, they should not uh, I mean, interfere in each other's work. Amazing. As an artist, uh, you can't negotiate about even your uh, payment also. Hmm. See, many, many, when, uh, many new clients approach me, it's difficult for me to bargain about price hmm. as hmm. an artist, hmm. but I have to I have to quote my price. So there is another. So that is another person. He has to bargain about the price, everything. But once my uh, journey begins with the client, so that part goes away. So I have to focus on the art part. I don't have to think about the money part, uh, the marketing part. So I need to focus on art. Otherwise, uh, it will be diluted. Uh, my art will be manipulated. Amazing. So thank you so much for all the lovely insights that you shared. I'm sure that people who are watching have gained a lot of uh, insights and a lot of understanding of what goes behind becoming an editorial cartoonist, right from your approach, right from your journey and the things that you shared about how you have to look at yourself as being an artist first and everything else will follow. Uh, I take it uh, as a learning from this talk that we had. Uh, it's always amazing to talk to you and I'm so glad that I'm in touch and in, in person we have these conversations and things that you're doing. You've been, you've given me an opportunity to be part of the things that you are doing as well. Thank you so much. I appreciate your I time. I really enjoyed Venkatesh. I mean, it means a lot. Uh, you are a really good artist and uh, talking to you is a, is a great learning for me also. Thank you. So I really enjoy this part. Uh, there are some questions I can take for some. You know, oh, yeah. We have, so, yeah. Go ahead, uh, guys, if you have any questions for Satish sir, please, you can go ahead, type in the chat here. If you are on YouTube, you can go ahead, type it there as well. Uh, we'll be more than happy to take the questions and uh, sir will be happy to answer. Yeah, I'm not finished yet. I mean, uh, you have gone out of your way to support me. Uh, <laughs> you help me to get, a, uh, get the sponsor, XP uh, So Don't uh, mention it, this please. Will help, no, this will help lots of youngsters here. Yeah. And, uh, we used to we used to give uh, cash prizes to students to win the, uh, win the yeah. cartoon contest. Yeah. Uh, normally they use the money uh, either for educational purpose or for the personal expenditure. But this uh, graphic tablets will help them to continue art. Yeah, yeah. Even after the contest, they can continue drawing, and uh, uh, this means a lot. I mean, I'm really thankful to you 
and uh, to XP Prime. Thank you so much so for we'll saying that. A, I mean, we'll have you, better contest next year also. The kind of stuff that you are doing, the amount of effort that you are putting, I should not even consider the stuff that I've done for making it happen. I mean, uh, XP Pen has been really kind. They have supported the channel, the work that we are doing for the last two, three years. I've been working on different things. Yeah. And a lot of people who are on the channel know this. And we have done a lot of giveaways. XP Pen has helped us uh, help younger artists, a lot of them. And I just opened up a conversation. That's all I did, I hope. And uh, thankfully, so uh, that, things are going well so far. Yeah, any questions? So, how to be like Satish is Krishna's question. What is the one thing that you would say? <laughs> no, don't be like anybody else. I mean, uh, see, whenever people compare uh, the cartoons with another party, like Legend of the Archaeology, uh, it pains me. And every cartoonist or every artist, the artist should be like he or herself only. You should not try to imitate other people. You should not compare one artist to another artist. Hmm. Because art is very individual opinion, hmm. it's personal opinion. Hmm. So you can't compare. Hmm. I mean, uh, whatever I, uh, my opinion, my messages in my cartoons are my own. Hmm. Uh, they are not uh, uh, influenced by someone else. So hmm. even Archilakshman, I mean, uh, he had his own experience. Hmm. He had his own understanding. Hmm. He had uh, his own art style. Hmm. So it made him individual. Hmm. So we should, uh, we should not compare artists. Hmm. So you should become yourself. Hmm. Don't try to become another person. Very valuable insight, actually. Everybody keeps saying this, but to practice it is very difficult. It's a very so simple can, thing to say. Inspiration. You can yeah. take inspiration from some artists. Yeah. But uh, after a certain point, you have to be your own. You have, mm. to, you have to come up with your own style. Mm. Uh, your own style of ideas. Not just the drawing part. And uh, your own style of humor. Uh, because what you read, what you experience in life, uh, how you perceive things, how you grasp the different aspects of things, uh, that makes you an, a, a unique cartoonist. Hmm. So nobody can compete with you. Hmm. You have to compete with yourself. Hmm. Hmm. Thank you so much for that. Uh, there are questions coming in on YouTube as well. Ghar uh, wale support nahi karte aur art ko bekar ki cheez mante hai sir, mein kya karu? This I think sums up every question that can come up on the channel or this particular session that is happening. People, yeah, are parents not it. supporting. What is yeah, it that I, we can I've do? I've been through it. I've been through it. I mean, after doing the MBA, uh, I was almost jobless for 10 years. <laughs> I mean, uh, it was a difficult phase. Uh, I got support from uh, most of the family members. Uh, somewhere they believed in me. Hmm. Uh, I never believed in myself. I mean, uh, I was doubting myself because... I was not good enough. I was not a. I, I, never, I never thought that I'm a gifted artist. Uh, I, I know that uh, everyone is a born artist. You know? we, are, we love uh, art since childhood. Uh, but I was not a gifted uh, artist. So I had to work hard on my art and uh, on other things as ideas, uh, the way I think, what I read. So it will take, uh, it'll take some years. Hmm. It's not easy. I mean, if you get a good break, you're lucky. Otherwise, you need some time. So you have to believe in yourself somewhere. The only way to believe in yourself is to you have to put in lots of efforts. And your work will uh, make you believe in yourself. Yeah. The quality of work. To, just to add to what you said, I think parents only want good for us. Basically, any parent yeah, would yeah. want good for their child. They are only worried right, that iska kuch hoga nahi. <laughs> what will they do? Like they'll be on the street, not be able to fend for themselves or something. I always suggest... Uh, people who are learning from me, people who are getting started with digital art, etc. inside my programs, I just tell them that do something, make some money and show it to them. Like there are enough opportunities out there in freelance, in, you know, uh, doing some small bit of work that makes you some money to just get started to show that there is money in this space. Then if you go to your parents and talk about it, they might as well pay attention to what you're doing. If it's just about what doodling for fun. Sorry? Yeah. During the during workshop, I, I talk to lots of youngsters. Uh, what I suggest, advise them is uh, study well, hmm. get into some profession, hmm. uh, maybe engineering, doctor, whatever, a lawyer, an architect, whatever. Get into some profession, and uh, during that time also continue cartooning. Yeah, I did the same. Become a freelance cartoonist. I did the same thing. And yes. then, if you're really good at it, cartooning will take it over. Yeah. You don't have to chase cartoon because yeah. uh, use social media. Uh, post your works on uh, uh, social media 
draw continuously. Yeah. Uh, create cartoons regularly. Yeah. Uh, post them on social media. If you yeah. are really good, I mean, clients will chase you. I think this is the oldest advice that anybody can give in any profession is that keep doing what you're doing. Just keep getting good at it. Continuously right. put yourself out there and opportunities will come your way. But it, because, because of social media, it's easy to get visibility. Yeah. Yeah, and hota ye hai that people are so impatient that today's post dala likes nahi aaye, so I am not a good artist. Let me quit. This is what happens. One day you won't get a job at a, at yeah. a prominent newspaper or magazine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you have to, you have to get identified. Yeah. To get identified, you have to post work and uh, get uh, people's attention. Yeah. And uh, you have to be good. Yeah. There is no alternative for good content. Yeah. Very rightly said. I'll take some more questions. Uh, in my college youth festival, I always participate in cartooning. I always take inspiration and ideas from your cartoons. Big fan of you. Tanvir Fahim is saying to you. Thank you, Tanvir. That is really sweet of you for saying that. Guys, if you have any messages for Sir, you have access to him to talk to him, to no, make I your get, message uh, reach him. Yeah. Yeah, I get lots of uh, uh, messages in uh, requests in uh, uh, Instagram. Yeah. Uh, just two days before college festival, they come up with this. They give me the topic and ask, them, ask for ideas. Okay. I tell them, think about the topic and you'll come up with ideas. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, so I, I was just telling them that you have access, like uh, you have so many followers, maybe directly talking to you is not something that everybody will get an opportunity for. If in case there I is something that you guys to want to say. As many as possible. I mean, yeah. I get lots of questions, hmm. but I try to respond to them, hmm. to most of them, hmm. most of the valid uh, questions. Awesome, awesome. Uh, where is the online competition is going on? Please go ahead, check XP Pens handle. All the details are there. There will be a latest post on their social media. XP Pen India is the handle. Please go ahead and check it there. Uh, there are, I think, two more days remaining for the contest to end. You have a chance to win an Artist Pro 15.6 inch tablet, drawing tablet, which is worth almost 30,000. Uh, go ahead and participate. Do not miss this opportunity. Uh, Artist ke liye bas freelancing hi starting option hai. This is the question that Burman is asking. Other option is to get an employment at a newspaper. Yeah. Yeah. But for it's that, I think you need to build a body of you work. Have have a, you have to have a great portfolio. Yeah. So maybe yeah, some tips on portfolio. Good. Yeah. If you are trying to get into the newspaper, you have to be very diverse. Hmm. Uh, most newspapers, they need all rounders. Hmm. Who can uh, draw caricatures, who can draw illustrations, who can draw portraits, hmm. and who can make pages also, graphics, hmm. everything. Hmm. Hmm. They don't want to hire uh, too many people in the graphics department. Hmm. If they hire one person, hmm. so get into newspaper, hmm. then you can start drawing cartoons. If you hmm. want to be in editorial cartoons, hmm. get into newspaper, hmm. uh, do the regular work, hmm. and also draw a cartoon. Hmm. Hmm. Show hmm. it to the editor. Hmm. Uh, if you are really good, I mean, you'll be picked. You'll get a column, cartoon column. So basically what you're trying to tell is cartooning is one thing, but you also can acquire other skills that will make you more useful yeah, for right. the company that you're going right, into. Right, right. So basically so if you're planning to get into newspaper, hmm. because on just on the basis of cartooning, it's hmm. difficult to get into a newspaper. Hmm. They don't hire. Hmm. Most newspapers, they don't hire cartoons. Hmm. They hire graphic designers, illustrators. And you also have this skill, then you can probably put it at the time when you are yeah, already there. It's a great addition to the... To the Hmm. 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 Okay, so there is another question Dia Santra is asking. Uh, we can spice up the most normal thing by our art, right? Like even someone is cleaning, we can present it as something really interesting. Does it always have to be a different topic or a unit topic in an illustration? Very interesting question actually. There, this is a very deep that thing. That, yeah? yeah? What is that? The question is, does it always have to be a different and unique topic in an illustration? Or it can be, I think the sense that I'm getting from the question is, can it be something mundane? Like even if somebody is just cleaning, can that also okay. become a cartoon? Like Yeah, that's, yeah, it's, a, it's called a gag cartoon also. See, mm -hmm. there are different aspects of cartoon. The little cartoon is one thing which I'm focusing on mostly. Mm -hmm. uh, there are comics also, there are uh, comic strip. Mm -hmm. In comic strip, uh, you normally uh, take day-to-day -day activities. Mm -hmm. It's more like a TV serial. Mm -hmm. you, pick, uh, you create some characters mm -hmm. and... Uh, you create humor hmm. surrounding those uh, their lives, hmm. Hmm. everyday hmm. life. Hmm. 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 So hmm. there is, a, I mean, you get lots of traction for those comments. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, if you are really looking for some uh, a positive response and 
Hmm. Uh, some happiness, happy hmm. moments. Hmm. Hmm. And then these cartoons are good. Comic strip, hmm. uh, gag cartoons, they are good. Yeah. The digital cartooning is different. It's uh, mostly focus on politics and hmm. other other things which affect us. Current events mostly. Uh, yeah, the, yeah. The... It, it divides the opinion also. It divides the audience also. Correct. Correct. And... If I post one cartoon, uh, it will it will uh, definitely it will offend some people. Any <laughs> cartoon. Course. Of course, but cartooning can be a lot more than just editorial cartooning. Is what you are trying to say? Yeah, yeah. There are there are many more uh, aspects of cartooning. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've seen a lot of uh, people making nostalgic cartoons on Instagram, and they work brilliantly. Yeah. They make a cartoon yeah, yeah. piece about how in nineties, in our childhood, the kind of stuff that we were doing, and they have instant relatability factor to them. Having those I chocolates, see. having those ice popsicles. Pepsi jo pite the hum bachpan mein those things they'll make some nice cartoon with that and it's so, so these, these things get lots of visibility yeah yeah and they are very shareable pop- it gets you lots of popularity also yeah 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 those are things that people can definitely try out and we yeah. all have those kind of experiences that we can probably yeah. turn into cartoons amazing Be unique. you should have your own style of drawing yeah, yeah. Uh, so it is recognizable yes yeah yeah pick a style and yeah. stick to it. Ambika Kollur is asking could you suggest any book to get started with basic cartooning or caricatures or any courses that throw uh, light on basics for beginners see if you search in google and you'll find lots of tutorials tom yeah. richmond has come up with a book about caricature okay it's available everywhere okay he is a very good artist hmm. uh, good the illustrator good caricaturist hmm. uh, you should follow his blog if you google in uh, Uh, Google for Tom Richmond. Tom Richmond. He get his blog. Yeah, hmm. yeah. he get his blog. Hmm. And uh, he's a mad uh, artist. I mean, <laughs> mad magazine artist. In a good way. <laughs> mad magazine. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. He does cover and uh, lots of comics also inside. He's a great uh, artist, I and mean, you should follow his work. And uh, he does he he posts lots of tutorials on his blog. Okay, okay. How he approaches it, I will also definitely check this out. I mean, this is a really nice yeah. question that Ambika has asked. I will also go ahead and check out Tom Richmond's blog and try. Yes, come up with a book, caricature book. Okay. It's uh, it's quite detailed. Nice. So the the book question is also answered. Somebody has asked the book question yeah. as well. Uh, does art always have to be realistic? Dia Santra is again asking this question. Guys, we'll take it's one or two more questions you. if you guys have anything. Yeah, go ahead. Sir. Yeah. Yeah, style can be uh, very personalized, and uh, you can have your own style. Hmm. Uh, it need not be a, a realistic one. Uh, drawing realistic is very difficult every time. I mean, even in R. K. Lakshman's uh, case, uh, it was not. Uh, it was semi-realistic. It's not uh, realistic. Hmm. And uh, more, our uh, Mari Miranda, hmm. he came up with his own style. His characters totally unique. Hmm. So when you look at his works uh, during the initial period, during his initial cartoon days. So that style was uh, quite different, hmm. but then he picked one style and then uh, he started doing the cartoons with the same style. Hmm. So now we know Mario Miranda by that style only. If you look at the cartoons of uh, or illustrations of Mario Miranda, you don't have to look at the signature. Hmm. Right. That's how you, that's how your style should be. If hmm. you should look at your uh, work and identify the artist. Yeah. Artists. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's a lifelong journey as well. I feel that. Lot of yeah, us you keep evolving. Yeah, but hmm. somewhere you have to stick to one style. Hmm. Right. Right. Even Make in that style, style, you can you can keep for improving and uh, you can make you can keep making changes. Hmm. 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 So I also, if I have to think about my process, I also have like different ways in which I create. Sometimes it's very realistic. Hmm. Sometimes it's cartoonish. Sometimes it's illustration yeah. style. We do all kinds of things, but then to be able to. find that one thing that you like and you are able to demonstrate the best work that you can do is a little bit of a task and you take time to develop that as well but uh, rightly yeah, said you have to make sure that your work is recognizable without even the signature being there that's a very yes. interesting thing that you said um i love to draw cartoons by inspiration but when it comes to giving any incident or idea a shape i get stuck please provide some guides to improve anupam datta is asking what is the question the question is uh by taking inspiration they are able to draw i love to okay. draw cartoons All by taking inspiration but when ah. it comes to giving any incident or idea or shape i get stuck this is the question yeah you should uh, you should explore the topic further uh, you should look at the topic from different angles hmm. maybe read more about the topic hmm. 
see there are some words uh, see for for eighth cartoons i mean hmm. uh, most of the ideas are uh, spontaneous hmm. uh, you read a news or you uh, you look at some uh, visual hmm. you get an idea hmm. otherwise but for a professional cartoon it's a it's a tough job hmm. uh, he has to come up with cartoon every day so you can't always uh, uh, depend on the spontaneity so you have to have your own uh, method to come up with idea hmm. so we have lots of uh, uh, methods like we have we look at different elements connected to a topic if the topic is uh, corruption uh, we look at elements which are connected to corruption maybe money politicians Or, uh, <laughs> I, I love how you instantly connected yeah. politicians with corruption, but yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, that's been the experience uh, for most of us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And even otherwise, even uh, other things. Even uh, uh, if I'm uh, looking at one topic, I try to look at people connected with it, some personality, some uh, politicians or celebrities. Yeah. So then it will take to another level. So you look at elements uh, which are connected to that person. If I'm talking about Virat Kohli, I will uh, look at all the aspects uh, which are connected to Virat Kohli, hmm. which could trigger an idea. Hmm. So that's hmm. how we should look at uh, look for idea. Okay, I mean, something will trigger an idea, hmm. and uh, that will come. Uh, that will help you to come. Do you keep a idea. note of all of these ideas that you get? So I draw immediately. You you get the idea and you instantly execute it. Yeah, okay. mostly I draw immediately. Okay. Uh, because still I post on social media. Yeah. Uh, I'll be restless. Ah, okay. So it's the itch. Also because you got of the social idea. media. Yeah, because of social media, uh, lots of uh, meme artists they come up with different ideas. Hmm. So so before you post it, I mean, the cartoons will take around one hour or two hours to create a cartoon. But meme artists can create a meme. Uh, like ten minutes, twenty minutes. Yeah. So before I can post the cartoon, uh, the same idea could be used by a meme artist. Hmm. So so I try to post the cartoon at the earliest. Okay. So This is an interesting thing. Me. I mean, your competition also has become meme creators. So memes yeah, yeah, because yeah. they are using existing images, they are putting Some text. Some people don't down. see the difference between meme artists and cartoons. Yeah. Yeah. There is a mm-hmm. lot of difference, of course, because you are doing everything. in hand and you are starting from scratch and building something it's realistic also i mean uh, it comes with my signature yeah yeah right so i own it uh, i mean uh, for the good things or the bad things <laughs> it's your creation completely yeah. memes i don't memes are a different thing altogether but yeah let me see uh, other questions uh, reach by nostalgic doodling uh, Satish is currently Bahubali for me on the current affair cartoons. Following him oh since 2014, God. going strong as always. Keep shining all the way, sir. Let us draw Bahubali as well. Vipul Amritwal is Aprun Amrit Lal is saying, that's actually very accurate. Why did he start? Yeah, why did he start following after 2014? I mean, <laughs> but because uh, before that also I did uh, lots of interesting cartoons. See so this uh, uh, social media thing started during the Adhazar is a movement. Okay. Uh, I did lots of cartoons on uh, uh, lots of candle scandals during UPA hmm. uh, regime. Hmm. Uh, there are lots of scandals uh, uh, which were which were like uh, uh, what what is it investigated by different uh, media houses. Uh, some scams are still being investigated. So we did lots of cartoons uh, during Anandhar and Moment, and uh, this uh, uh, what we call it, Arvind Kejriwal. Yeah. Team, yeah. They started using cartoons effectively during another time. Hmm. So many of our cartoons used to go viral because they used to share it on different platforms. Hmm. So that's how we started. Hmm. So 2014 is a different era after 2014. Before yeah. that also we did lots of interesting cartoons. I think it was the time when social media started gaining prominence in India. Like the time that yeah. you probably yeah. started yeah. doing these cartoons <laughs> and you rode the wave. basically the time when social media became prominent and cartoons started becoming more relevant again we had cartoons yeah. in our childhood somewhere in the middle maybe there was a huge gap and then again social media yeah. started giving it a boost and i always try to do- draw these parallels in and do analytics in my head as to what's going on <laughs> at what time etc but yeah it's um, a crazy journey i mean how it started and uh, how it's shaping up yeah i mean the, i i always feel that this is just a beginning whenever we are 
लुकिंग एट आर जर्नी लुकिंग बैकवर्ड्स एंड एवरीथिंग दैट वी हैव डन आई ऑलवेज थिंक अभी तो शुरुआत है अभी तो कुछ किया भी नहीं वी हैव डन नथिंग देयर इज सो मच मोर दैट्स गोइंग टू हैपन इन द फ्यूचर आई एम प्रीटी श्योर दैट यू आल्सो फील द सेम वे होपफुली पॉजिटिव ऑफ कोर्स ऑफ कोर्स एनी अदर क्वेश्चंस इज देयर एनी सर्टेन वे दैट वी कैन पुट लाइफ इन आवर आर्ट दियास क्वेश्चन सो आर्ट इज अबाउट लाइफ ऑन दिस we draw inspiration from life we look at people and we look at the lives around us and draw inspiration even news is a part of life so it's it's a uh, it's connected to life and uh, it's not uh, it's not separated from uh, life so whenever it's separated from life it doesn't make any sense <laughs> art is uh, about life and the little cartoon is um, it's about our uh, life also everyday life most amazing I mean, I can talk As to you. As a cartoonist, about... my job is to become a voice of people who don't have a voice. I mean, some people they don't uh, they want to complain, they want to protest, they want to oppose. So, editorial cartoons they do the job. Hmm. Fantastic. I mean, I can talk to you about so many things, and there are so many offshoots of everything that you are saying. and it can yeah. become a very deep conversation about life in general so take but... some rest ma <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah we can i think with that the way you said art is life and this is something that is so impactful and so thought provoking to say uh, that we can go on another tangent all together and talk to talk one more hour together on this one topic itself but it has been a great pleasure of mine to host you thank you so much uh, satish ji it's thanks been a pleasure a thanks a lot to xp I pen really for making this happen i really love this you know talking to an artist is a different experience i've yeah. spoken to different uh, journalists and uh, anchors but i'm talking to an artist is a different experience something about that feeling about being a creator and yeah, there sharing is some that feeling yes. yes you can relate with each other yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i had a great time I wish we could keep going on and on. Uh, thanks thank everyone you so for joining. Uh, thanks to everyone. Please, please follow our uh, uh, cartoon hub links. Yeah. And, uh, we may not be able to uh, come to Punda for it's a far away place, uh, but you can join through uh, YouTube or Facebook. I'll be posting them on uh, social media. Yeah. Handles. Guys, uh, all the join. links to Satish sir's handles, social media are there in the description on YouTube. You can search for Satish Acharya on socials. You will easily be able to find him. And I am greatly indebted to him for doing this. I am thankful to XP Pen for giving me this opportunity. It's been a great pleasure. Thanks a lot, sir. Thanks a lot for uh, sharing thank time you, and you. doing this. Have a good thank night, you, everybody. Take care. Yeah. Bye bye. As I always say, stay strong uh, and keep creating. Bye bye. See you. See you. Take care.